Welcome to Hooray IELTS Writing Task 1. Let us look at a description of this particular topic that which is life cycle of a butterfly. A life cycle is a biological process which will detail stages of growth and development of a living organism that is usually depicted in the image. It is given in an illustrated form. You have to observe the various stages mentioned, write down points based on that and then write a report. You are ideally suggested to write 160 to 180 words. A classic example of a life cycle is that of a butterfly or a silkworm. This usually starts with an egg and ends with it turning into an adult moth or an adult butterfly. This cycle has no end. The criteria for academic report writing is task achievement, coherence and cohesion, grammatical range and accuracy, lexical resource. They cover components like analyzing and mentioning all points of the task in a coherent manner using the right sentence structure and all forms of grammar including parts of speech as well as a wide range of vocabulary. The strategies to answer this type of question are as follows. You must use proper sentence structures and while doing so you must ensure that the structure of your writing is correct this will include an introduction body and conclusion if you use correct linking words you can connect ideas and denote the stages appropriately use a range of appropriate vocabulary and language this will depend on the kind of image that has been given to you do not give your opinion here make sure you maintain your word limit and describe the process adequately Here is a sample question of what it might look like as you can see on the left and at the beginning you have the eggs following that there's a caterpillar then the chrysalis and then the butterfly it is an unending cycle first and foremost you must understand the structure that has to be followed and that is Paragraphing. So your paragraph 1 will have the opening paragraph. Here you must briefly paraphrase the title given, use your own words, but do not modify the meaning. Following this, you can mention the overview paragraph. Here, convey the picture of what is depicted. You can start writing the overview by linking the word together with the word overall. Paragraph 3 will consist of your main body 1 where you will mention the time duration between the phases. This will give the reader some clarity regarding the life cycle. You can use appropriate linking words like in the next stage or this stage is followed by or after this and the final stages etc. Paragraph 4 can have your main body 2 or just a concluding sentence or either both of them. You can end the report with a conclusion here. For the main body too, if there are bigger images with more information, you could include that information and then in the end, put in one or two sentences of conclusion. In the concluding sentence, you could rephrase your overview statement accordingly. Now here are some key vocabulary tips to do this type of question. Use the present tenses wherever required and the third person S. For example, life begins as an egg. You must remember that this is a continuous process and as earlier mentioned, it is an unending cycle. So it is not like it will happen once and stop. It happens on a regular basis. So phrases and words like the caterpillar hatches or it eats the shell, it looks for, rather than it looked for or it ate the shell or it grew. Remember that much. The second thing is you could use even the simple present passive tense remember using the correct passive voice instead of writing the butterfly lays an egg which is active you could write an egg is laid so this will 
put more focus on the stage rather than the butterfly. Now here are some examples of linking words and some descriptive phrases. You could link the sentences especially since this is a stage or these are stages and using words like firstly, secondly, after that, next, then, finally will give the reader also clarity on what is happening and in what order. At the same time, if you use good adjectives to describe the image, it will really really enhance your vocabulary score or lexical resource score. For example, words like a small egg instead of just writing egg or baby caterpillar instead of just writing caterpillar, milkweed leaves, underside of a twig. So these are some good words and phrases that you could use to increase your vocabulary score. You could also use synonyms, nouns and collocations. This will help you to include some words that are related to a particular field given. For example, it hatches, emerges, wriggles free, comes out. So if you use just one or two words to describe an entire process or an action, you will score more in your lexical resource. You must use nouns or collocations as well. Uh, some examples have been given you and they are it transforms. So instead of just saying it transforms, you could say it undergoes a transformation or it looks for can be used as it goes in search of. So in search of is your phrase over here and there is your collocation. Now here is a sample answer. As you can see the first paragraph gives you the main point. Following this begins the description of the life cycle of the butterfly. The word used here is firstly that denotes that okay there is a stage coming in and there are other stages coming after that. And as I mentioned before, adjectives have been used here to describe what kind of eggs? Small eggs. Now of course you can describe this further and elaborate that point by talking about the form, size and texture. And to make sure that you mention the time mentioned. Again, if you look at the next paragraph, the second stage is detailed. As mentioned earlier, baby caterpillar emerges. So instead of using the word comes out, using the word emerges will make it more crisp, more concise, as well as give you a better score in your lexical resource. Similarly, words like shed their skin or after that or transforms into, again, nouns, collocations that denote different stages as well as what is happening in terms of the life cycle of the butterfly. Make sure you end with the words overall and you can rephrase to conclude your sentence. Here are some general writing tips. When writing this, make sure you use an apt vocabulary. Do not use contracted forms of words. Most importantly, when analyzing the picture, take down the key words, write them down according to the paragraphs you shall be putting them in. Use the passive form where possible. While doing so, use pronouns, transitional words. Maintain your coherence and cohesion and academic style. Most importantly, make sure your ideas are logically organized. That is the end. Thank you.